Ethan Moore of Wellington is on the cutting edge of modern technology in the farming business. So this is a DJI T40 aircraft and it's equipped with a just over a 10 gallon tank which can also be switched to a spreader tank. The 22 year old Moore says he learned about drones at Wellington High School and then began to focus on using the technology in agribusiness after witnessing how traditional crop duster planes damaged the apple trees and bee colonies on his family's property. EPA, Europe, everybody has said we need to use less pesticides. We need to protect our planet, we need to protect our environment. What's cool about the software on board is that once the tank's empty, the drone knows that it's empty and it turns around and flies back to where it took off from so that we can refill it. Ethan Moore, who is also a nurse in the ICU at Mercy Medical Center in Lorraine, says the design of the drone is ideal for dusting crops. You see the propellers, so when they fly over the field, it's pushing the uh, pesticides down into the crop canopy and it's, uh, it's overturning leaves so that the pesticide can really adhere to all the surfaces of the crop. Capitalizing on growing concerns about the impact of pesticides and overspraying, Ethan Moore has now launched his own company, Lake Erie Drone, to offer the technology to farmers across Northeast Ohio. And he had to clear a number of regulatory obstacles to get his drone license. The FAA is very serious about safety and because this drone is over 55 pounds, it's more aircraft than drone in the eyes of the FAA. Ethan Moore says he plans to eventually use the camera technology on the drone to identify areas of farm fields that need to be sprayed, which will cut down on the amount of chemicals that he needs to use. In some cases, so-called spot spraying has cut the use of pesticides in a field by more than 60%. Ethan Moore says he believes drone technology will eventually increase the amount of crops each field will yield and improve the bottom line of each farm. Any way that we can create more food and try to bring that price down, I mean, everybody benefits. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News in Wellington.